Pulse Live from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a five-minute devotion that fits seamlessly into your day with an encouraging biblical thought designed to lift your spirit and point you to Jesus Christ. Thanks for clicking the start button. God bless you. It's January 16th, 2024, here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. Welcome to this Tuesday episode of Cafe Devo. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. You know my pal Bugsy over there in the corner, <laughs> doing what he always does. <laughs> and I hope your Tuesday is going well. Hey, kid, I hear it's your birthday. Hey, happy before we get started with today's to devotion, happy we've got some important birthday, birthday business happy to take birthday, care of. Uh, you birthday, know I love doing this, to and today you. we want to send out best wishes to Anna Monroe. Hey, Anna, it's your birthday, and all of us here at First Congregational Church we love you. We're so glad you're part of our church family, and all together we want to say happy, happy birthday! birthday. Once again, we turn to Dr. Charles Swindoll for our devotional thought today. These are the words recorded in his book, Good Morning, Lord, Can We Talk? It's copyright 2018, Tyndale Momentum. Humility and inferiority. Part of humility is having a preset mentality that determines thoughts like this. I care about those around me. Why do I have to be first? Today, I'm going to help someone else win. It's my sincere desire to curb my competitive tendencies and turn that energy into encouraging at least one person. Now, before we get neck deep into this unselfish lifestyle, we need to determine if it is, in fact, promoted in Scripture. Does the Bible come right up front and encourage living like this? I'll let you determine the answer. Read this New Testament statement slowly and don't skip a single word. Romans 12, 10. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Those words, and there are many others, have a rare ring to them, don't they? In fact, some who read those verses might misunderstand them and think uh, we're advocating inferiority. For your sake, two more biblical passages are needed to give context. 2 Corinthians 11.5 and 12.11. I don't consider myself inferior in any way to these quote-unquote super apostles who teach such things. You ought to be writing commendations for me, but I'm not at all inferior to these super apostles, even though I am nothing at all. Authentic humility in no way should be confused with incompetence or a lack of assurance. As a matter of fact, it is doubtful that anyone who wrestles with an unhealthy self-image can correctly and adequately give to others. Inferiority and unselfishness cannot coexist. There is nothing inferior about Jesus Christ, the creator of the universe. And because you have received him as your savior, you are in Christ. Therefore, you have a station in God's eyes. But Jesus laid all of his glory aside for you and for me. Now let's pause and let that sink in throughout today. Father, thank you for your love and your grace and for all that you give us. In the midst of your favor, help us to be humble. We don't want to be self-demeaning. We don't want to drive ourselves into the dirt. But Father, we do need to see ourselves as you do, so help us to do that. Bless us, O oh Lord, and help us to show your love, we pray in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Well, that'll do it for us on this Tuesday edition of Cafe Devo. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.